December the 30th, 2021. Guys, you're looking at information from the National Weather Service out of Boulder, Colorado. And you see the plume that's moving from the left to right of the stream. And uh, Boulder is just to the northwest and Denver is to the southeast of this line. I've driven that road. It's a beautiful country. But that plume is 100 mile per hour winds and a forest fire. But it's a, the fire is going through the towns. There's, uh, we're going to kind of scan this page of the National Weather Service on Twitter and take a look at some of the information that's being sent in. But again, 100 mile per hour winds. So if you've got friends in this area, you uh, need to make sure they understand uh, what's going on here. Just, you know, they may be partying or something else. Who knows? But this is, again, this is Boulder right here. If you can see it, this is Denver. And, um, again, you're uh, along that highway and along this area. We're going to look at uh, one of the images. I think it's from a Costco there in town. And uh, some of the uh, images are amazing. It looks like a hurricane but with uh, smoke in it. Never seen it quite that rough. So again, southeast of Boulder, north of Denver, you can see the direction of the plume, and these are 100 mile per hour winds. Now they're saying very strong winds are fueling what is called the Marshall Fire. Never a good sign when radar shows a smoke plume this strong. Please heed all evacuations associated with this fire. Uh, you can follow Boulder OEM for latest evacuation and official fire info this is paused but i'm going to back out so you can hear the power of the wind in this you really don't have much of a chance to escape that if you're caught off guard again same web uh site or the same twitter site from the national weather service in boulder colorado look at this got your fences on fire there's no way to stop that type of brush fire or getting into the trees, into the houses. At that speed, it would be unsafe really to attempt it if, uh, from the downwind side. Look at this. It's uh, moving very quickly. And this is from Wendy at Wendy uh, BCO. Camera outside my home off South Boulder Road just west of Davidson Mesa. Don't know if my home is still there or not. Check this out. At that, again, this is... You know, she's not saying this is sped up or anything. That's 100 mile to 105 mile per hour gust winds. It moves so quickly, there's not much you can do. Maybe her home is spared. Maybe it blew on through there. We don't know what's on the other side of this. Now, this is coming from Chris Spears there. I guess he's local Chris at CBS4. Uh, it says, um, Marshall Fowler, photojournalist Robert Sanchez just sent this back to the station gut-wrenching. Look at how fast it's consuming these buildings. Right here uh, at the holidays, and by the way, for everyone that's not having to deal with this, if you got friends in there, check on it. But do have a happy and safe New Year and New Year's Eve. But these are sad images. Now, this is coming in from Throff. This is Costco number 480. Uh, this uh, hashtag Boulder Fire. I'm not sure where Costco number 480 is, but check this out, guys. And it's even with that darker... Um, greener lower brush that's blowtorch type winds and so the you immediately depending on how dry the conditions are and they look pretty dry look at this nothing you can do with that and again not much time to evacu evacuate and i think uh, this possibly um i, I know that the Louisville is where the marshall fire is kind of uh, in the, that area, but remember, it's moving very fast, and it's moving almost due east. And going back to this radar image, um, again, everything's moving, you can tell, almost due east. That's the way the wind's coming out of the west, out of the sunset, and it's going to continue this way until the winds come down, or this thing runs out of fuel. I don't see a lot of moisture in that area, but guys, things are about to change across a lot of the country. It's going to get much cooler either, either I mean, even here in the southeast. So be prepared for that and some possible thunderstorms. I'm going to keep this short. Again, check on your friends in this area. Again, between Boulder and Denver. And I don't know how this thing's going to spread sideways, but it, you can see from the uh, images inside the cities there, there's n m not much time. So maybe everyone's really paying attention and um, got the weather radios on because this would come in through the weather forecast office there. 
So check, uh, make sure your weather radios are on too. We're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Again, happy New Year's and uh, prayers up for Colorado, guys. Be safe.